Hi, everybody. It's still February 24, 2018. I read some more comments underneath that earthquake video where I had just mentioned human failure. Why are we seeing so much human failure lately? Human failure with these emergency alert systems, human failure with trains going off the tracks, crashing, uh, human failure with these school shootings, the FBI, local law enforcement. What the hell is going on? All right. Um, why are people leaving me comments saying, I don't think that it was real, Carol? Um, I wasn't, it's irrelevant to the point that I was making. The point that I was making is that we are seeing mainstream media reporting on so much human failure for a reason. What's the reason? Is it conditioning to get Americans to accept artificial intelligence? So artificial intelligence, it is so superior to human intelligence and artificial intelligence will protect us. Uh, Pre-crime algorithms, which they already have, but it's easier to convince a dumbed-down, non-critically thinking uh, populace that don't have any working brain cell in their brains to accept, okay, yeah, that, that's going to keep us safe. Artificial intelligence, pre-crime, pre-crime, get that operating. Get people picked up before they commit the crime. But you can see whether real or not, and even if real, that does not mean that I don't think it's orchestrated. So we've got a lot of false flags where people actually do die. And we've got a lot of quote unquote hoaxes, but both are staged to achieve the ends that these really evil, satanic, crazy nut jobs want to achieve. And it's not just about gun control legislation. So you can see how orchestrated these school shootings are. When they immediately come out, the parents come out, advocate for gun control. The students walk out of classrooms and they're advocating for gun control. CNN has these town hall meetings all about gun control. And one of the students called out CNN as the town hall meeting was scripted. I'm sure you guys know about that. But when you see a march for our lives already scheduled for March 24. Now, maybe people heard about this prior to the Florida school shooting. I didn't. I only heard it after. This, this is posted February 20. George Clooney, oh, he's donated 500000 to March for Our Lives. Yes, teenagers across the country will be getting together in Washington, D.C. on March 24. Do you know how long it takes to organize, to get the permits and all that kind of stuff for a March on Washington, D.C.? A long time. It doesn't take a couple of days. So, I may be wrong. Perhaps this was in, uh, perhaps this was already um, in the works and it was already published that they would have this March for Our Lives prior to the Florida shooting, but I never heard of it. And they can't just put a march like this together. For March 24 in just a couple of weeks. So orchestrated, absolutely. Now, George Clooney, the darling of the globalist. Oh, George, we're going to pay you even more money if you keep working for our agendas to achieve our ends. These sick movie stars who are right there. Hell, he's given $1 million to the Southern Poverty Law Center. And yes, do you believe that these people actually care about ordinary people? I'm sorry, I don't. But what was his statement? Yes, George Clooney. Amal and I are so inspired by the courage and eloquence of these young men and women from Stoneman Douglas High School.
Our family will be there on March 24 to stand side by side with this incredible generation of young people from all over the country. And in the name of our children, Ella and Alexander, we're donating $500,000 to help pay for this groundbreaking event. God, we're so proud of these young Americans that we are exploiting. Um, I've said in videos that I, I, I can't do these reruns of these shootings, whether school or not. I just can't get into them anymore. It's so blatantly obvious that they are orchestrated and then when they immediately come out and start talking about gun control, what, look, it is not the people who are behind these agendas, orchestrating these agendas that I care about. These people are so damaged that there's no getting through to them. They just want to achieve their ends. It is our fellow Americans who are so unbelievably lazy. It's laziness. That they don't do the research to find out what, what is all of this insanity about? What is going on in our country? No, they prefer to just listen to lies. And lying, accepting lies, it is so easy and it demands nothing of you. The truth and actually using your brain to realize, hey, maybe gun control isn't the answer. Maybe I should really think about this. Hmm, maybe I should turn on my critical thinking in my brain and really think about gun control. Well, are the guns walking into the schools and pulling the trigger themselves? No. Okay, so maybe we should look for the root cause. The individual who is shooting up children. Now, understand this, please. Just imagine that these school shootings are real, okay? And put yourself in the shoes of just ordinary Americans who are believing the horseshit that they get from mainstream media, all right? And their leaders, okay? They hear, oh my God, a shooting. In school, 17 children dead. Gun control, gun control, gun control. Let me think about this. See, a healthy human being would want to get to the root cause and understanding that the gun itself is not the issue. It is in fact the person who's shooting it. The individual. There's something wrong with the individual. What's wrong with the individual? You might want to ask. Do we have societal problems? Wow, we do. Do we have parenting problems? Wow, we do. But no, we're going to go and talk about gun control as if that is going to resolve these shootings. I think most people would agree that when you ban something, you create a really profitable black market for that thing you banned. And if a criminal wants a gun, they're going to get a gun. If a criminal wants an AR-15, they're going to get an AR-15. So that's not the answer. But what we have been conditioned to hear after every school shooting in particular is common sense legislation, common sense gun control legislation. We need common sense, common sense, common sense gun control legislation. So Americans who don't think and who truly are children, they just listening to their leaders their mainstream media reporters give them the information. The reporters tell them what the politicians want to do. And like children, they go, okay, mommy and daddy. Okay, that's good. Let me just get back to my um, Xbox, my PlayStation, whatever the hell those games are called. That is, unfortunately, the condition of the majority of adults in our country. They don't want to have to think. They don't want to have to get really um, 
they certainly don't want to think outside the box because that requires a lot of energy. They don't want to do the research to find out what the truth is. They just want that immediate gratification. Okay, take away the guns. As if that's going to make them safe. Take away my rights. Take away. Let's destroy the Constitution. Let's get rid of the Second Amendment. You know, that amendment that said something about, hmm, shall not be infringed. No, let's infringe it. Infringe it more. Infringe it more. And infringe it until it's finally gone and all guns are gone. And then Americans are left with no protection themselves. Yeah, that's really intelligent. That's a really smart move, Americans. But you are being led right down that path. Now, so th this march obviously was in the works before the Florida shooting. Um, FBI, FBI comes out with this statement. January 5, 2018, a person close to Nicholas Cruz contacted the FBI's public access line, tip line, to report concerns about him. The caller provided information about Cruz's gun ownership, desire to kill people, erratic behavior, disturbing social media posts, as well as the potential of him conducting a school shooting. Well, protocol, protocol, established protocol, would have been that that information was passed on to the FBI Miami field office where an appropriate investigation would have been conducted. Oh, but we have determined that these protocols were not followed. We're not followed. Now, we know we've got fusion centers. We've got local law enforcement. We've got federal law enforcement. We've got the NSA. We've got intelligence agencies monitoring social media. Failure. Oops, sorry. Now, if you have done some research because you happen to be a responsible adult, you probably know that the FBI, a whole lot of evidence that those thwarted terrorist attacks, that they pat themselves on the back, oh, we're so great, FBI, we're protecting Americans, were terrorist acts that the FBI staged. And you would know that the FBI somehow is just right there when an event occurs. So you would be questioning everything that the FBI does. Anybody who is not questioning the public statement, and this is on the FBI's website, anybody who's not questioning the FBI coming out publicly stating, oops, sorry, we have spoken with victims and families and deeply regret the additional pain this causes. We just failed. Every protocol. And it wasn't just one person. It was a whole lot of people. So what is this about? What is it about when we have the Broward County Sheriff who claims that he's all, he's so transparent. He loves transparency. And transparency told him, I got to tell Americans that we had a resource, resource officer who simply did nothing when children were being massacred. We got to come out and publicly state that. Now, we all know that law enforcement, federal, local, doesn't matter, state, what they don't want out to the public, they conceal. Oh, but he's right on that. Got to tell you guys, hey, we had that resource officer, and, mm, well, he wasn't doing anything. Man, well, we also had a drill going on, so maybe that's why he wasn't doing anything. All right, but that is aside, irrelevant to what I'm saying. Why are they coming out saying this? Oh, and that was just a couple of days ago that he said that about a resource officer right at retirement age, he suspends with no pay. The resource officer says, mm, I'm going to retire. I want my benefits. And he gets those benefits, the retirement benefits. Everything is orchestrated. Everything is intentional, deliberate. 
So today, so today we have uh, shocked and outraged four Broward deputies waited outside the school as children were being massacred. Oh my God, it wasn't just one, it was now five, four of them. Uh, an additional four. What the hell is going on? Human failure. Law enforcement. They show up to the school. They listen to the bullets. But they're on break. So, it's not just about gun control. Something else is happening here. And one of the things that is happening here, I believe, is to condition American people to believe that they can't rely on any human for anything and to bring in artificial intelligence, pre-crime algorithms, pick these people up before they commit the crime. Um, we had a the same Broward County Sheriff who's calling for detaining people over social media posts. Well, you could have just shown up at that kid's house and questioned him about those social media posts. Because we sure do know local law enforcement, state law enforcement, federal law enforcement, they're all viewing our social media posts. They're reading emails. They're reading comments. They're reading comments on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, etc. So, with all of the surveillance that is taking place now to keep Americans safe, the police state that has manifested to keep Americans safe. Oh, what did we hear right after 9-11? We heard an awful lot of talk, even Obama did an awful lot of talk about how those terrorists, they were not going to, uh, they weren't going to do anything to take away our values and traditions and, and our rights as they were stripping us of our rights. So, Americans allowed that to happen, and it got us nowhere, except into a deeper and darker police state. And, yeah, every single day we get deeper and darker. But the common sense thing, you know, it really, it's getting to me, because it makes no common sense, you know. It's common sense, gun control legislation. In this particular school shooting, why is everybody talking about gun control legislation and nobody's talking about, hey, our FBI, wouldn't it be common sense to talk about our FBI failing? Wouldn't it be common sense to talk about those local law enforcers who just, mm, yeah, I hear those bullets, but hey, I'm on my coffee break. No. Wouldn't it be common sense to talk about psychiatric drugs? We have known for decades that psychiatric medications have have produced so much violence. Psychiatric medications induce homicidal ideation, suicidal ideation, cause violent behavior. Psychiatric medications, the adverse effects, mimic mental illness. Um, it, it's all over the place in terms of how many people know, how many people know about the violence inducing effects of psychiatric medications. Mountains of facts and evidence. And we all know that this is a leftist liberal agenda to deprive Americans of their guns. So, you leftists, here's your darling. And he's talking about psychiatric medications. Hell, he was talking about doing a documentary on Columbine and those psychiatric medications. Don't know if he ever did. Sure, Big Pharma got to Michael Moore. Hey, guy. We'll give you an awful lot of money. Hey, we'll make you really, really important if you just shut up about 
the violence inducing psychiatric medications. But leftists, this guy, your darling, he spoke about, hey, we've got to look into the psychiatric medications that are inducing an awful lot of violence in these children. No, apparently that's not common sense. When you think about all of the kids on psychiatric medications today, and even if the violent behavior that psychiatric medications induce, even if it induced, let's say, uh, only in a small percentage of the population of those who are taking these psychiatric medications, you've got millions of children on these psychiatric medications. So if it's only one in 1,000 that experience the adverse effect, the violent inducing adverse effect, you have thousands of violent people out there on psychiatric medications. But no, it's not common sense to talk about the medications. It's only common sense to talk about gun control legislation. And this makes me sick. It does. Because what we are surrounded by are just really incredibly dumbed down Americans, lazy Americans, who just don't want to do anything. Hey, I got my comfort. I like it. Leave me alone. Go away with your truth. But the hypocrisy, the disgusting hypocrisy that we live. As a nation debates gun control, U.S. military wants $716 billion for next year so we can kill kids in other countries. But don't care about that. Only care about those Florida kids. And, oh, yes, those Newtown, Connecticut kids. <gasps> oh, my God! Oh, my God! 17 children! Oh, my God! These children are made up. I don't care about the children that we're killing in our name. I don't care about those children. And, hell, don't they have dark skin? Who cares? They're different from us. So, let's give. Let's write out a check to the IRS so our military can kill more children. Yeah, I have a problem with that. But the school drill, how is mainstream media spinning that? All right. So we have the FBI failing, local law enforcement showing up, but I'm on a coffee break. Yeah, okay. Children are being massacred. I'll be right there. Uh, and we had a drill. Somehow, <laughs> we're, we're not going to have that discussion. Hell, there was a drill going on. The police, the FBI. Common sense would dictate a conversation about that. No, nope. gun control legislation. Um, active shooter training didn't help in the Florida high school shooting. Whoops, sorry. And how did the Daily Beast spin it? Oh, he took advantage of that. He made sick use of the school's active shooter drill. So parents. South Carolinian parents, uh, Florida parents, other states that want to now mandate active shooter drills. Does that make common sense when shooters now are making sick use of these drills to go in and shoot up your kids? Maybe active shooter drills is really not a very good idea. I don't even know how to address the non-common sense, the common nonsense, the... I, I don't know how to address it any longer. But these people are doing whatever the hell they want to do because we don't have fellow Americans who can think right, who can think who care to think. They just want these people fix it, resolve it. Yeah, take away those guns. That'll do it. No, it won't at all. Not at all. It just moves us further along to a, a really profoundly evil police state that seems to be manifesting itself more and more on a daily basis.
The link is below. Thanks for listening, guys.